All right, so today we're going to be adjusting and setting up some mechanical brakes. I have Avids on here already. Maybe you don't have as fancy a brake set up. Maybe you have a, you know, it's Christmas time. Maybe you got a Walmart bike, you know? Hey, but this is your brake pads. This is a brand new brake pad. So not a whole lot on there. It's not like looking at your car if you're going to do a brake pad job on your car. So, and you want to keep these clean. Definitely keep these clean. You don't want anything getting on them, oils or anything from your hand. So just handle the sides, touch the back, you know. That's that's the best case. These are uh, the Ava Juicy BB7s or organics. Organics tend to wear a little faster than the semi-metallic or sintered, but semi-metallics also tend to have more noise. So I get some noise. I don't like noise. I like a nice quiet bike on the trail. So I go with the organic, maybe I change them out every so often, but they're you know, 10 to $15 for a set of general brake pads. So what you're probably gonna need to do is get an Allen wrench. So you get your rotor here, get your caliper, your cable. Now if you get a new bike, say from Walmart, right? it's probably not gonna be set up right. The brakes aren't gonna be adjusted. You're gonna have the brakes, instead of running flat and true, they're gonna be canned or whatever the washers and how this is set up they're cupped so one washer sits inside the other and it allows it to rotate so you can get full adjustment on this you can adjust as the brake levers the, the, the bracket on the caliper is it's grooved in an oval groove that the bolt goes into so you can move it in and out and then with these you can angle it so you want to make sure you have the right angle so a little bit of doing this is eyeballing it. So you want to look at it, eyeball it, be like, yeah, it's, it's running, you know, nice and even, it looks like up and down, because you don't want your pads to wear uneven too, because you're not going to get as good of a braking, and they're going to wear faster. You don't want premature wear on your brake pads, so pull your lever in, you know, maybe the lever comes all the way back to the grips, and you're like, oh man, it's before you get the stop so you really don't have that braking or maybe it's all the way out here and you want to adjust it you can make some adjustments with the cable if you need to there's the barrel adjuster up here at the actual brake lever you can make some adjustments with so on these it's an allen wrench five millimeter allen wrench i can loosen this up move this arm and i can adjust the cable i can also adjust the outer and inner pistons on these it's a little turn dial on on some of the Walmart brakes, you have to use an Allen wrench from the back side here to adjust this inner pad. So the inner pad is not going to rub directly on the rotor. It, you want just a little bit, maybe you slip a business card between that and the rotor. Because the rotor would have to bend just that little bit. And you don't want it to be pushing the rotor into that other pad. You just want it to just butt up against it. And, and that will also help you see if your rotor is true. So, you can spin it, make sure your rotor's true. If it's not true, if it's bent, you can try straightening it. There's some tools out there to straighten it. It's just a little lever goes on there. You can use an adjustable wrench. Make sure it's clean because, again, you don't want anything on this rotor surface. If you get anything on the rotor surface, I suggest some 91% rubbing alcohol. Spray it on, wipe it off, and it should be clean and good to go. You could use brake parts cleaner like you would for a car. I don't recommend it because it's not going to be good for painted components. And we're surrounded by painted components here. So alcohol works best. Spray it on. It's cheap. It's not going to smell as bad and be as bad for you as a brake parts cleaner will anyway. So, so we want to set this caliper up. So what we want to do is take this inner piston and bring it out. So we got some new pads in there. We want to bring the piston all the way back out. But we want to make sure that the housing of your caliper is not going to hit the rotor. So you want to look at it and see and say, okay, it's, it's not sitting flush. So basically you would want the metal bracket here kind of flush with the housing of the caliper. So we're going to screw this in. I have a, a red dial on the inside. Again, if you have some other ones, a lot, a lot of the Walmart brakes, you can use an Allen wrench, go in from the other side, and just crank it in, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So, you're going to bring that on in. Say, so, okay, that looks good. So I backed these all off prior. Then I want this out. 
you might not have that adjustment. Some don't. Your Walmart bikes don't. So I do on this one. So I just adjusted that out. And then we can check the lever here. Okay, so it's and it's it's not centered. I have, I have too much space between the pad and the rotor on this side, and definitely too much on this side as well. So what I want to do is I want to center it up. It's a little cockeyed, you know, with the new pads in there. I just want to center it up. So I've already cracked these loose. So loosen them up a little. Back them off. I'm going to take this bottom one here. I'm going to back that off a bit. Okay. So now this is, see how much this wiggles? I just loosen them up a little bit. But it's because those washers are in there. There's two washers here and two washers here on either side. And they're come cupped. So you can rock it all the way around and they'll fit. As soon as you tighten them up, hey, you're good to go. So you want to hit the brake and hold it. This is similar to doing it to a hydraulic brake system. So we're going to tighten this up because basically right now you are centered on the rotor. So you can't beat that. You're centered right on your rotor. Right at the rotor is true. And there you go. So now I'm a little bit on the inside there. Right? Rub them right up against it because of how I just set it up. But because I brought this out a little bit, I can now take it back a little bit and give me that gap that I want. And hey, just about there. One, two, three more clicks. All right. So my inner pad has about a business card spacing off of the rotor. And you see it rolls nice and smooth. The outside needs the adjustment. That's where I can adjust this to bring it in, get it to where I want it. And basically that's going to give me my lever feel. Where are my lever? Where is it going to grab? How close to the grips do I want? Like see if I do this, it's going to hit the grip. So back it off a little bit. Now. So I'm going to run it in. And then on this with the Walmart bikes, again, this would be your cable adjustment. So you're going to want to figure out how much you need to do, whether you want to go in or out on that cable for the, the throw of the lever here. Loosen it up. Move that lever. It's not too hard to do this. Be confident in yourself. This is, this is not rocket appliances. So you can move the lever up. Just hold it with your fingers or some pliers. You don't want to crimp the cable with your with your pliers or anything, but just enough and then just snug this back up. Check it. Say, oh yeah, that's that's perfect. That's right where I want it. Then you can come back in. You can tighten this down good because you have it in the spot that you definitely want it. Come over here. Snug these up. Snug these up. Give it another whirl. Listen. You have to be quiet and listen. You have no metallic scraping noises. So that means everything is clear of the pads. Your rotor's not dragging on your pads. So, and then you want to eyeball it still. Come back, use a flashlight if you need to. Shine it down in there, maybe on the back side. Just illuminate it so you can see the gap on either side and make sure it's lined up. Because sometimes it just doesn't work and you might have to come in here and physically manipulate it and tighten it down so it lines up how you want it to line up so it's so it's straight so i hope this helps and i hope you get your brakes set up right this is how i do it you might have a different way of doing it somebody else might have a different way of doing it if you think you have uh, some more tips for this please put them in the comments for the viewers and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel i put out videos about once a week or so, and so I always have some new content coming out for you, rides, tips and tricks, new product reviews that I get, so enjoy.